hello everybody welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to talk to you about uh chelators okay and i'm going to give you a good substitute for damophil pa so damophil pa which is sodium phytate is a very very uh, popular chelator out there and it's liquid form a lot of people do not have access to that so the essence of this video is to introduce you to a new chelator that is very as um even more effective than uh, sodium phytate and it's sodium gluconate so if you have never seen or uh, used sodium gluconate before this video is going to be of help sodium gluconate is uh, the neutralized form of uh, gluconic acid it's a salt okay it's widely used in stabilizing cosmetics very very important ingredient for stabilizing your product and for preventing oxidation uh, oxidation okay and uh and rancidity of your oil so if you do not have access to sodium phytate okay which is very common sodium phytate is demophil pa3 uh you can also use sodium gluconate now the good thing about sodium gluconate is the it has dual purpose even more than that we use it in the uh, cosmetic industry to stabilize and protect your product from discoloration and rancidity rancidity that's caused by you know uh, metal ion especially ion and copper so basically what a chelator does is that it's going to bind to those it's going to prevent them from discoloring your product or from you know ox from causing oxidation discoloration and stuff like that so you might have made cream sometime and just notice oh my god my cream has changed uh, color except some botanical extract that often time uh, discolor standardized botanical extract that may discolor your product sometimes um, metal ion like uh, iron and copper okay often time causes discoloration okay so what a chelator will do is that it's going to bind with that metal ion and it's going to stop uh the action so it's going to bind them and it's going to stop them okay from discoloring your product or from going rancid okay so that's the importance of your of uh, using a chelator so if you don't know uh chelator chelator is very very important it helps stabilize your product for a very long time okay so a lot of people use uh, damophil pa uh but i think by dr stressman uh, but it's not common it's not that common here in canada so if you are in canada or in other part, part of the world that you don't have access to um demophil pa you can also go with sodium gluconate just make sure you go for the usp version okay basically how do you use it just like you use sodium fight it remember when you want to use sodium fight it you add a little bit to the water face of your to the distilled to your distilled water right that's how we use uh, sodium phytate, right? You add a little bit to your distilled water and you mix it before you add other ingredients in the, right? So basically, how do we use this? How do we use uh, sodium gluconate? So I'm going to throw this away. Let me show you how we use it. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to use sodium gluconate to adjust pH. Okay, it's a good substitute also. That's why I like it. When you buy this ingredient, it's actually available at PureBlendNaturals.com. If you're in Canada, it ships to Canada and the US, and also international some international destinations. So if you already know how to use Damophil PA, right, by taking a little bit of Damophil and adding it to the water phase of your formulation right you know how to do that right so i don't have to but if you don't know basically how do you use demophil pa just take a little bit 0.1 percent okay basically take 0.1 percent and add it to to your distilled water and mix it well that's how we use a uh, demophil pa make sure you mix it well it dissolves well before you continue your formulation that's how you do now for sodium gluconate okay the powder form of of chilito powder chilito i won't say powder form so basically what do you do you're going to also use it between the the good thing about it is that you can use it between 0 0.1 and 1 percent depending on what you are making if you're making a very risky product that you know uh it's going to cause something's going to happen along the line 
basically you use it more okay but what i recommend for my my clients and my student is that you use 0.1 percent okay take 0.1 percent of your of sodium gluconate and add it to the distilled water of your formulation okay it's water soluble so basically when you do that you mix it very well and it dissolves very well it dissolves very fast okay once it dissolves then you can now add the, add the rest ingredient in the water phase of your formulation if you're making a product that's just only one phase right all you have to do is just add it first dissolve in your water then add your other ingredients and uh, they can just adjust your ph accordingly another thing we can use a uh, sodium gluconate for is to adjust ph so in my next video i'm going to show you how to use sodium gluconate to adjust the ph of you so if you don't like uh 10 90 light solution ph adjuster sometimes you just don't like it you can also use 10 90 sodium gluconate okay to adjust to bump up the ph of your product so that's just about it for this video if you have any question about using chileto what chilitos are i explained it briefly um you can also drop your comment in the comment so you, another question you can ask me okay what can i use sodium gluconate for just like whatever you use uh, sodium phytate for okay you can use sodium gluconate for shampoo you can use it for sunscreen product you can use it for cream lotion makeup and uh, most cosmetic products okay now one thing i'm going to go to uh, caution you about is that when you're making water in oil emulsion okay do not use a chilator a lot of people ask me that oh why okay what I in oil emulsion is a process whereby we make thicker cream but i'm going to make a video about this shortly okay when you should never use a chelito so i'm going to make that video next time i'm going to make the third video for today thanks for watching this channel this is my channel i am a trained cosmetic for little as you all know so this is a channel where i show i demonstrate my um transparent uh, formulation process so you are free to watch along with me but i do not train on this channel if you want to learn from me you can go on my training website stablecosmeticformulas.com that's where i train uh upcoming cosmetic formulator but on this channel is my channel and this is also a channel where i give uh, everyone especially cosmetic formulators uh good cosmetic formulation tips that helps them prevent mistakes that most formulators make so this is a channel for you if you want to learn and if you want to, if you also want to watch my formulation process you are f uh, free to come in but i do not give recipe of my formulation just i demonstrate it but mostly on this channel i give a lot of simple diys and whole lot of cosmetic formulation tips so if the, if you want if you like something like that Feel free to click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video. So my next video is how to use sodium gluconate, okay, to adjust the pH of your product. Basically, because it's uh, a, uh, we're going to use this, okay, to bump up, okay, because it's a base, right? We are going to use it to bump up the pH of us. So it's a good alternate, alternative uh, to lie when you are adjusting pH so it's a good natural pH adjuster to increase the pH of your product so if your pH is too low if it's acidic you add this to it to make it uh, to take it to where you want it to be so that's about it I will demonstrate that in the next video thanks for watching